The BFF exfoliation treatment is an amazing treatment to add to your existing pre-tan services. It's going to make your end product better because you're preparing the skin, you're opening up the pores, you're taking off a layer of skin. You probably already instructed your clients to exfoliate, but nothing does it to this extent and, and with ease and efficiency. So you're going to want to add this on as an add-on service or upcharge, or simply just um, add it to your, your current tanning services to differentiate yourself in the marketplace and provide the, your best end product. Um, I'm going to have Morgan come up and we're going to do a quick pre-tan exfoliation service for her. I have you tie up your hair if you don't mind. Yeah. As high up as you can. And uh, do you have any lotion or cream on your body today? Yep. Okay, so clean, dry skin. That's exactly what we're looking for. And I'm going to get one of my buff smooth stickers. Again, you can wear rubber gloves. You can have a mask on if you like. For all practical purposes, I'm going to forgo that. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm, I'm not going to hit any of her clothing. Actually, I'm going to ask if you can hike up your shorts as much as is comfortable so that when we tan. So I'm going to go quickly now. I'm, not try I'm actually trying to not take any hair off the body. Um, she was exfoliated within the last week, so she doesn't have much hair. I'm going to try to I'm going to hit her abdomen and her back a little bit, but it, my strokes are going to be nice and smooth but quick. I don't want to stay in an area too long, okay? So we'll start at the upper back actually. And I'm going to check in does this feel okay? It's so actually I'm going to have you turn around here. So I'm going around her bra straps and just going very quickly. I can see a fine layer of dust and may not be visible to the to the um, screen there. But I can see it visibly here. Um, round your back a little bit, if you don't mind. So again, don't be afraid to reposition your body or your client's body so that you're giving them the best service. Uh, she even has little hairs in the lower back, but I was careful not to remove those. Um, I'm going to come around to the belly here. And so I'm also going to be careful not to hit her breasts at all. And you can lift up your arm a little bit. Like this. So this is so fast. And if I stay there longer, it's going to start to remove those hairs. And she's not in for a hair removal treatment. So I'm going to keep those hairs intact. Now I'm going to move to the lower body. So actually turn to your side so they can see. I'm going to get her buttocks very quickly. And I'm going to work down the legs very rapidly. Now you can see on a close-up, you'll be able to see that layer of dust developing. Inner. Now smooth strokes, quickly, and only flat parts of the disc hitting her skin. You going to rotate around in front. Thank you. And I'll get up here and inner thigh just a bit. back so it would be the other side and this way okay. so all in all this this part of the treatment should only last about two to three minutes without talking like I said I'm really trying to not stay in an area too long because all you need is about a second or two in a spot for the hair to be removed especially on Morgan because she has finer finer hair she had a bit of dry skin today so this is gonna be great um, by the time she's tanned, that, that dry skin will go away. Again, what we're doing here overall is we're filing a thin layer of tops, top layer of uh, dead skin off, opening up the pores, and making the, your end product tan, whether it's spray tan or self tanning lotion. It's going to be a way better re end result. Let me just do it once over. Now we can do your arms. So do your shoulder, back of the arms very quickly. I believe I did that area already. Just do a quick. Great thing about this is not that many tanning spas have, have included our services. So you'll be on the leading edge. You're improving your end product for whichever spray tan service or self tanner you use. You're already instructing your clients to do this at home, but now you're giving them the option to come in um, either as a standard part of your service or as a, a, an upsell, easy upsell. Okay, now we're going to try to get on the chest a little bit. Um, turn your head back a little bit. So I'm just going to go briefly here. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
the top of the breast. I'm not going to go up into the neck at all. I'm just going to go right on the shoulders. And I believe we're done. Let me get your just your stomach for one more second. Okay. So that's that's it. That was about I'm not sure about about two three minutes of actual time without talking. Now what we're going to do is I have a pre dampened warm towel. You can go hot to warm, and I wring it out completely. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is wipe off that extra dust residue from her top layer of skin. It will also be a nice cooling sensation for her a bit. I'm going to get that off and then we're going to air dry or if you need to you can uh, dry, towel it, towel dry. Um. So you want to get, get all the dusty residue off so that your spray tan or self tanner can go all the way as deeply into the pores and set nicely during the treatment. So we're creating the optimal environment for your spray tan service. It's going to last longer for your clients. They're going to be happier with the end result. And there you have it. Let's get the front. Okay, great. So that's it. Now she's ready for her spray tan. <laughs>